everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back here for another mansion build and today we're going to go ahead and create this Brendleton Bay Dream Mansion. So if you'd like to go ahead and download this for yourself, it is up on the gallery now. My origin ID is real, Thomas TV one So um, this, well first of all, if you hear my voiceover is a little bit different, like if it sounds like I'm a little more like sort of like closer up to the microphone I suppose, or if I'm just a bit more quieter, um, it's because everybody is home right now, which is not really ideal for doing voiceover. I tend not to do voiceovers when everybody's home um, but it is it's 6 p.m. on the night before this video goes up which sounds like I have a lot of time but it really isn't <laughs> anyway I'll talk about that more in a second uh, so it came in at 498,146 simoleons it has seven bathrooms and I built it on the 64 by 64 lot in Brindle Bay and it took me about an hour and 50 minutes to do this. So this idea is, it's just like another sort of suburban family home style. Um, and the dream, I have like a few builds that I've done with the word dream in it. And basically all that means is sort of like, a, um, not really like an upper class sort of, home it's more of just something that your sims would like to work towards and something that would be you know like a lot of work would pay off to get um so that's sort of like what i do between with these homes um and it's got like quite a few things in it actually so it's got the um like a pool and you know the regular stuff but i also instead of just doing a regular guest house and what i normally do with the guest houses is that it's basically just another room like an exterior room like just another building on the lot um, and sometimes i might change it into a sitting room sometimes i change it into a bedroom but i actually did was was literally made another full house on this lot so in the back right hand corner of the lot there is a guest house but it's kind of like a, a big house it's like a two-story home and um, so that could be really really great for like multi-generational families or anything so you could use that for there it has its own kitchen and dining room it has its own bedroom living room and uh, bathroom as well so that'd be great and you can see this room right here as well which is the garage and like normal I did go ahead and change this into a uh, gym so which is kind of you know just something that I do a lot with um, my homes is change the garage into a gym because it's more of a, like a practical use of the space and then if I'm doing the, like the garage like attached to the home then sometimes I kind of make it into a laundry room as well and kind of divide it off too um, so I do that sometimes um, and yeah, so we are actually getting in. Well, I mean, there's some people who went to Sims Camp have been like hyping up this thing about a new feature coming in the next update, or I don't know if it's the next update, but soon. Um, I have no idea what it is, by the way. I know, like, sometimes I do um, get like early information about upcoming stuff, but um, I didn't I have no idea what this is going to be. Um, and kind of just thinking, I'm hoping it's going to be cause. I don't know why, but I feel like it's just something that has been hyped up so much. It's kind of like. Yeah, that's just what it seems. It just makes the most sense to be that. Uh, but if it's not, I'm hoping it's going to be something like Creator World. But then again, I'm not really too sure because, you know, with... um. Del Sol Valley and the reasoning behind why it's such a small world. I feel like Creator World kind of just goes against that whole thing, so I'm not too sure, but I'm hoping it's one of those two. That would be great, and um, because with Creator World, hopefully that means I can make bigger than 64 by 64s, because you know me, I'd love to do mansions, so that would be great for me. Um, and yeah, so back to the builds a little bit. Like I said, it had it came in at 498,000, so you know, pretty much 500,000, which you know, it it's a little bit on the pricey side, which. Firstly, it's kind of like a normal thing for mansion builds. I don't like to restrict myself on money when it comes to mansions, so I kind of just do what I want and it just ends up to be the price that it is. With this home, you know, I suppose it kind of goes along nicely with the theme of it being a dream home. So, you know, you're going to have to do loads of work to afford this, I suppose. So, you know, I suppose it kind of goes with that. So maybe not the most practical thing to kind of get without cheats, but... You know what, it's alright. <laughs> anyway, so another really exciting thing happened this week. Um, you may have seen it on The Sims' Twitter and Instagram. Well, first of all, I was actually featured on The uh, Sims' October Builds of the Month. So if you don't know, The Sims team pick, um, I think it's about five different builds each month from creators, um, not just game changers, just, you know, everybody. Um, and I was actually lucky enough to get chosen um, this month, which is was crazy. I'm, it still kind of shocked me, really. Um, it was actually on my opposite town build which was I actually did back in like June or July I think what yeah I think it was either June or July so I don't know why it was featured now but <laughs> I'm not complaining because I'm really really happy about that um, and then the other day I actually got my own kind of like um, post made by the sims team for that build like on its own which was crazy and um, so I got like a twitter post and an instagram post um, and also on the sims as Spanish um, Twitter account I think it was or the French one I can't remember and um, but they also did that there too which was amazing so 
that's been really exciting this week um, and I've had a lot of like really nice messages and everything about that from new people discovering my channel and um, the Instagram one was pretty crazy because from that I had like over 400 new followers and over 3,000 people viewed my profile which is crazy <laughs> when I normally get like 60 views a week on that which my Insta I don't know if, I don't really think I well I don't talk about that much in my videos so you may not know but I do actually have an Instagram account you can go ahead and follow me there my I was going to say my origin ID. <laughs> well, it's the same as my origin ID, which is Real Thomas TV One. Um, and on, well, it first started out just being like a mix of real life photos and um, kind of you know Sims photos, like off my builds and stuff. Um, now I haven't really done that many real life photos in a while, you know, because I don't really have the, anything going on that's interesting to post. <laughs> um, so I haven't really posted anything like that. Um, so it's kind of just been just. 100% sims photos since like the last couple of months so I'm kind of scared to post a real life photo now because I feel like people are not going to expect that if that makes sense and want to kind of unfollow um, but saying that I do have the story as well and that doesn't sound right you know what I mean <laughs> the story feature um, where I kind of well not as much recently but I do post a lot there on both with the new videos that come out I make a post on my story about that and also um, any kind of real life things that maybe isn't you know that great to make a full post about I sometimes just post on my story there too so if you want to see some more kind of things that I do out of these videos and that's also a good thing to check out and yeah so what else has been happening well today well as I said at the beginning, it's currently 6pm and I'm now just getting around to the voiceover. Well, we've actually had um, carpets being fitted throughout the whole house today, so I've been out the house pretty much all day because, like, you know, there's nowhere really to sit. <laughs> um, so I've just been... I, I've just been driving around, really. I've been doing loads of errands and stuff but I also went out for drivers too um, so it just meant that I didn't have time to do this voiceover until now um, now everybody is back home so it's I'm just going to have to get it done regardless if people are listening in um, now the thing is is that because we've been getting new carpets all of like the doors like if you know, in the living room and everything, and um, in the hallway, all those doors have been taken off because, you know, fitting the carpets through them, because um, it's not like, you know, separate things, it's all one piece, I think. Um, anyway, so that means that right now, <laughs> people are downstairs without a door. So I've got my bedroom door closed, but, you know, it's it's still going to make the sound travel a little bit, I think, so hopefully they're not going to hear me, but, you know, the know I make videos, it's just I don't like them to listen to me do it I don't know my, my sister's upstairs but she knows I make videos anyway so no big deal about that but everybody else I'm not too sure about <laughs> anyway so I haven't really talked that much about the build today which is kind of odd for me because that's pretty much all I have to talk about but a few interesting things have been going on this week anyway so like I said back to the build um in the front area here we're just doing a pond now I I don't really know why I didn't really used to do these but I have been doing a lot more recently um, and what ends up happening is as I do kind of like in this area it would have just been a huge big flower bed and um, I thought to kind of break up the space um, I include a like a pond area it's not really a pond I wish we had a pond tool but you know the, fo the fountain and um, it's it still works you know and um, but it's just kind of adds a little bit more of just something more interesting to look at, I suppose, and just another flower bled. Wait, flower bled? What? <laughs> flower bed, there we go. Um, and I do that quite a lot my builds now recently. It's kind of just a nice thing, because I, I noticed that I did used to make, like, pretty big flower beds, but um, now I've kind of learned from comments about that, because I know a lot of people pick up on that. I'm not the only one as well, because I watch a lot of speed builders, well, builders, um, and I hear them say that same thing, where people pick up on the the fact that flower beds sometimes get too big, um, and I, I would, it's funny that people kind of pick up on that. That's not something I would have, you know, noticed in somebody's speed build, but um, since it is, I have been trying to kind of, you know, reduce the amount of that and kind of just leave some more grass spaces. So you'll see a few more of these in the um, this build. Um, and what I actually did was, is you'll see, like, like, on the outside part of the fence, if that makes sense, like the best way to look at it is at the back of the lot. You can see there's still quite a bit of land outside of the fence, if that makes sense. Um, well, I did that on purpose because um, sometimes I feel it's nice to have loads of big trees around the lot to kind of make it a little bit more enclosed. And sometimes it actually looks nice for the thumbnail too. So that's what I did for this. That's why the, the well, I mean, the backyard space is a little bit I mean, it's still a pretty decent size, <laughs> um, but it's just a little bit smaller than it could have been because I wanted to put lots of trees around the exterior and kind of just fill it up to kind of make it a little bit more private, I suppose. Um, and yes, yeah, so there's also a big swimming pool, as you can see, that's kind of just a common thing that I kind of put in all builds. Um, I know it's not like something that everybody has but in like real life, but it's just something I always put into my Sims builds. It's really odd, actually. Even like 30 by 20s, I still put it in, which is weird. Um, talking of 30 by 20s, I don't really do a lot of smaller builds and it's kind of really hard because like I, I don't know if I should just stop doing smaller builds because 
you know, everybody seems to come for the mansions, which is totally fine. That You know, I can't really decide what you want to watch. But it's also my most, you know, enjoyable one to make too. Um, so I suppose it kind of works out well there. Um, but, you know, I do get comments every now and again when I do smaller builds of people asking to do a few more of those. So it's kind of like, well, what do I do? Um, do I kind of, you know, spend time doing that? Or do I put more energy into doing mansion builds, which more people want to see? So it's kind of a really big dilemma. Um, and then sometimes what happens is when I upload a smaller build, you know, the... Um, views are much lower and it kind of I know it shouldn't affect me but I've got to also think about what you want to see too um so I feel like I should just stick to that and then I'd start getting comments about people want to see smaller builds so just a big mess um, but I'll probably you know do them on an occasion talking about that as well um my fix me Thomas TV renovation series which you know is normally every Saturday where you can go ahead and submit rundown lots on the gallery for me to renovate each week well that series um I know it's been kind of like well a few weeks have been missing here and there and um, it's just really because it's, well, I'm not enjoying it as much as I used to. And I don't really know, well, I do know why, actually. It's because these videos take, and like, it's really hot, like, it doesn't really seem like it would take a long time to make, but they take, honestly, sometimes longer than a mansion build, which is crazy. Even if it's on a small lot, because there's a lot more that goes into those type of videos. Um, so it's kind of like, well, the kind of thing that oh my god I really don't know how to explain this <laughs> well the thing is I'll just kind of put it short um I'm not I'm thinking about stopping the series or maybe just kind of reducing how many episodes there are over the weeks I don't know um I'm just gonna kind of do it when I want to really um and also I don't really have as many submissions uh, recently been receiving them so I don't really think the series is gonna last for that long anyway if I don't have any more lots to renovate but you know not just because of that though it's just that it's also something that I don't enjoy as much as mansion builds for example so I'm kind of still deciding on that what I'm going to do with it but you know I'll probably keep you up to date on Twitter and also the community tab which is normally where I kind of use for bigger announcements and stuff so you know stay tuned there and yeah so um, we're just working on one of the bathrooms here as you can see now I see this pretty much all the time but I don't tend to include bathrooms in the speed build video because one they're exactly the same throughout the entire build and two it's the same type of bathroom style that I have for all my builds because you know it's sort of like a, a boring room in a way it's sometimes hard to think of unique things to do for a bathroom each um you know every single time so sometimes it's a little bit hard um but also like i said you kind of seen me do this style of bathroom before so there's no point in doing it and also like i said as well is that the bathrooms in my builds i keep all the same so i kind of when, at the beginning of the build, well, my process of building, I mean, I'm not going to start right from the start, but one part of it is before I kind of start doing the interior is that I put all de like all the wall, um, wall coverings, flooring, lighting and doors. I do that all before I start. Um, and with the bathrooms, I kind of just go through and copy and paste all those wall coverings and flooring between all the bathrooms. Um, it's not a shortcut way. It's not something to kind of make things easier for me. Um, I mean, I suppose partly it is, but the reason I do that is I feel like it's a little bit more realistic because I mean at least in my house all the bathrooms have the same you know furnishing and stuff so it just makes it a little bit more realistic I think so that's what I tend to do in sims builds as well um and yeah so right now we're just working on this little area which is it's it's kind of like a weird sort of area that was it's just, just sort of like another seating area but it was kind of like in the hallway <laughs> it was kind of like I didn't really know what to do with that space so I kind of just left it all open and kind of just put some stuff there um now this is actually the last part of the build we're working on here which is the guest house like I was talking about at the start so you can see here how this is like a separate and um, bigger building at the back of the lot and um, so it has its own kitchen and dining space as you can see here and um, also put one of those gaming tables in as well as you can see there next to the door and um, so you know just a little activity and then we've also got kind of like a I mean I suppose this dining table was maybe a little bit too big for this considering it's only a guest house but you know what it's all right and um, maybe they have guests over themselves too who live here um, and also there wasn't really room for a bar so I just put one of those little ones from Vintage Glamour which I always forget about for some reason I don't really know why um, so I went ahead and put one of those in there is a bigger bar, I believe, in the main part of the house, in the dining room. I can't exactly remember, but I think there is. Um, and yeah, so we're just working on the upstairs of this. Now, there wasn't really room to make in like a separate living room and bedroom, so I just put it into one space. Now, it's only a guest house, so I imagine there's only going to be one or two Sims um, that live here. So I suppose having an open plan area wasn't too much of a bad idea. Um, and, you know, it's not going to really be somewhere that your Sims are going to use that much anyway, I don't think, because we don't really have that sort of functionality in-game to make this really really practical 
Uh, but you know you can change it maybe if you have like a grandparents living in the house or maybe a teen or young adult that's maybe getting ready to move out but doesn't want to do so quite yet then maybe that could be a space for them and yeah so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this voiceover up here really hope you enjoyed in the comment section down below let me know about what you thought of this build let me know if you have any more suggestions for mansion builds or speed builds that you want to see in the future as that would be really really helpful leave a like share and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you all next time bye